What's up guys, welcome back to another SerpWiz training. My name is Deepak Shukla, founder here at SerpWiz and head over to SerpWiz.com to get access to an instantly actionable free SEO audit. And we're looking today at a Pearl Lemon report so that you, if you get some of these elements come through, can understand exactly what the hell they mean and how to explain it to your team, to your clients, to yourself, wherever it may be. So today we're talking about ultimately preloading key requests. So I don't actually know if this bit here is a, is a little bargain at all, but um, um, I think that's where it's going to highlight the elements that you should consider to um, can add to your preload key requests. So we, this is a test that we passed, but ultimately it says consider using to prioritize fetching resources that are currently requested later in the page load. So basically when you preload key requests, it's like, telling um, the browser that hey there's these things that you know you need to think about preloading before the browser decides it needs to so it's like giving it advance notice and warning to say these are important because independently the browser won't do it so if we jump into um, here um, it says the third level of requests in your critical request chain as preload candidates there you go preload candidates report flag the third level of requests in your critical request chain um, suppose your page's request chain looks like this, index, uh, HTML, then the, the, the uh, JS, JavaScript, then the CSS, then the UI. Um, your index file declares the JavaScript. When JavaScript runs, it calls fetch in order to download the style sheet and the user interface. Um, and the page doesn't appear complete until those last two resources are downloaded, passed, and executed. Losing the example above, Lighthouse would flag the styles as well as the US UI as candidates for preloading, okay? Um, and basically, as it says here, the potential savings are based on how much earlier your browser will be able to start the request if you declared preload links, okay? So if you example the app, in the app.js takes 200 milliseconds to download, pass, and execute, the savings could be 200 milliseconds for each resource since this has been preloaded, so it's no longer a bottleneck, meaning it's waiting. So preloading requests can make your page load much faster if you preload these all together. As you can see, this is the waterfall loading one at a time. Without preloading, the style sheet and the UI can only be requested to be loaded once the Java, the 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 the, the app side of it has been basically executed. So the browser doesn't become aware about the others until after. So 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 that's a problem. Um, and and this is what this element talks about. Okay, so um. Dun, 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 dun. Preloading is supported in Chromium based browsers. Um, see browser compatibility for updates. So um, it's got some guidance here on Angular and Magento. If we jump into preload key requests, um, we'll go through um, some elements here that are interesting. Use preload key request to audit to identify which resources to preload. The browser cache preloads resources so they're available. available immediately when needed the browser cache right it doesn't execute the scripts or apply the style sheet it just keeps them um available so they don't need to go and request them and then it stores them ready for deployment if we look at these in wp rocket you can use it so that's great for ultimately wordpress if you guys are thinking about it this is for fonts specifically but you go to wp rocket w rocket preload and 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 you can follow the instructions here how do I use preload key requests? Um, it talks about the, the preload link to help you prioritize it. We talk about it in WordPress again, using auto optimize as well. That's another candidate. It's, it's pretty cool what you can just get from um, you know page one of, 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 of Google basically. It sounds obvious, but it's nice seeing these FAQs. Preloading, um, how do you implement it? Um, there's some elements here that is probably very developer-led, so a little bit out of my depth. And is there anything here that's also relevant. So I think that that's everything ultimately. So I hope that, that makes sense, guys. This is in relation to preloading key requests. So catch you in the next one.